And a former prize fighter champion, Prince Aaron, won the light middleweight competition back in February. Unbeaten in his last eight since being stopped in two by all-action Irishman John Duddy. Tough rematch, though, of a drawn fight here against Max Maxwell, who won his last two since that draw. Eight-round distance should suit him. He's good late on in fights. We can join this one from the start. Seconds out, round one. We welcome back the prize fighter like middleweight champion, the tall, spindly but talented boxer Prince Aaron. Use those advantages to reach the final and win it at the York Hall Bethnal Green. Good over the three round format. Now back to reality and eight rounds in front of him. A rematch with the useful Max Maxwell who forced Aaron to a draw, albeit a controversial one in 2009. And another possible banana skin if he's not fully switched on. Maxwell's not bad, Jim. Yeah, but I, I like Aaron's attitude. I mean, it was a tough match the last time. He feels he won it, so he wants to be straight back in again. And this, that was the match just before he won the prize fighter. The winning prize fighter must have done masses for his confidence. And the fact that he's straight back in again with Maxwell shows that. has been an interesting career already for the 22-year-old from Droylston, Prince Aaron, in fight number 22 already. Be matched really hard early. Come through some bumps and bruises. But is really beginning to enjoy himself in the ring and build up a following too around the northwest. They like the story. It was a tremendous story, but it's true like that. The three round distance and the, the eight round distance is a, a completely different game altogether. And you can get by on speed and reflexes for the three rounds, but eight is a tough night's work and uh, that's what Maxwell is as well. So we'll see how he copes with this. Maxwell's won his last couple as well over Darren Gethin and Lee Edwards. So he's on a roll in form and fighting regularly too. And their camp really fancy it, Richie Woodle and the team. Pressure on Aaron early. Well, Maxwell's tactics are what you would expect them to be. He doesn't have any accuracy in the opening round, but he's making that on work. Obviously hoping in the second half of the fight uh, will be his territory. Nice work there from Aaron. He's picked the nicer punches in the opening round. There he's doing it again. Good skills, particularly on the back foot from Prince Aaron. He's making Maxwell miss pretty wildly at times. Good body shot as well with the right hand. Maxwell should be concentrating and getting close before he lets the punches go. He's moving forward, swinging the shots. A lovely work from Aaron. Yeah, sweet shots to finish this opening session from Prince Aaron. Really nice. Seconds out. Round three. Here's the third round. Interesting clash in the light middleweight division. Prince Aaron. Weighing in at 11-2-7, Max Maxwell 11 to a rematch of their sixth rounder from December of last year. Well, Aaron just wants to be careful in the first minute. I think Maxwell's been sent out to make an impression here. Don't hold, come on, don't hold, Aaron, let him go. Right, sir! Don't hold. Neither man a huge puncher. Maxwell has two knockouts on the record, although he did floor Sam Webb, the new British champion, at the weight after Webb's victory over Small. I know Max Maxwell wants to get back in with Webb. But he's not a huge puncher, neither Prince Aaron, who's got one knockout. It was a good one, mine, that one. But only one. Prince Aaron just looking a little bit uh, uncomfortable. At the moment, this is a bit better. The gangly arms. Almost a spidery style from...
Prince Aaron. Calls himself Prince because he felt Aaron Jones was too boring a name for boxing. That's his real one. Just thought about switching Southpaw for a moment. Is he getting frustrated with these constant bursts from Maxwell? Yeah, well, Maxwell's swinging kind of wildly, wildly. I think he's used up a few bit of juice in this round. Swinging so many big punches, so he, his pace has settled down. And Aaron beginning to pick things up now. Maxwell's team fancied the longer distance tonight. First time round it was over six, this time eight. He has been ten rounds on three occasions. Aaron only passed eight once when he beat Cello Renda. Had to get off the floor to do that. He's blowing a little bit now. Maxwell breathing heavily. So a big drive in the first minute or so of this round. That's, uh, he seems to have blown himself out a little you bit. You should your jab, Max. Should be no stamina issues for Prince Aaron. The way Bob Shannon trains his fighters. Especially those early morning hill runs. Yeah, Aaron got that comfortable look back in his boxing again. He was kind of shaken out of that in the first minute of this round. He's got himself back together again. He showed a good head to win prize fighter and did in that session again. Seconds out. Round four. Fourth round of this one. Prince Aaron looking for victory number 18. And those three quick ones in prize fighter over George Hilliard. Bradley Price boxed so well against the former Commonwealth champion and Brett Flournoy, who even floored in the final. Wonderful night for him down in London, now back up in his native northwest and trying to deal with Max Maxwell. Not an easy night's work for anyone. Well, not a great technique on what Maxwell's doing at the moment. He's just trying to impose himself, just trying to draw him into a brawl. Ah, nice moving from Aaron there, turned him nicely. Good body shot, hand speed too. Just so much more belief, all-round confidence from Prince Aaron. Looks a totally different fighter to 18 months or so ago. These prize fighter winners have got on to, to do very well. Martin Rogan had that run, didn't he? Winning titles, beating Audley Harrison. Martin Murray's flying. Can Prince Aaron go on to collect a British title of some sorts? There's not enough method in what Max was doing at the moment. Uh, he's trying to take the initiative. He's, he's going forward, letting some punches go. But not really making any great impression. Just trundling forward, Maxwell. And he's going to get himself tired out if he keeps throwing and missing like that. And frustrated too. Well, he's keeping the pressure going in this round, which he didn't manage in the previous. So at least he's taken the, the smooth look away from Aaron's boxing. Yeah, Aaron going to sleep a little bit at the moment. That was Good better. body shot to finish that combination though. From Aaron. Come forward movement, determination from Maxwell. But how many are actually landing, Jim? No, but there's been kind of quiet spells in this round as well from Aaron. I think he's feeling the pressure a bit more in this round. In the previous round, it subsided. And I'm just wondering how much uh, Maxwell has taken out of himself. Used up a lot of steam in this round. Some success. But he's had to work for it. Good, oh, good right, right hand. hand. Yeah, that was a good shot. Found one of those a couple of rounds ago, might have nicked that one. Max Maxwell from work rate and desire. 
Don't worry, I'm wrong. Give me up. There you go, take a drink. You see, the persistence, what it does, the pressure, you've got to sustain the pressure. You've got to get to it, Max, OK? As you're walking in now, as you keep walking in, you just must keep moving yeah. that head. Measure the distance with the jab and then send that right down, down the middle, understand? Yeah. Once you deliver the right hand, then you can throw the left up. But you've got to stay on it. Yep, well, uh, Maxwell did manage to keep the pressure going for the full three minutes. Uh, some uncomfortable moments. That was the, the right hand landed uh, just uh, shortly before the bell. So Aaron will want to get his boxing back together and the sharpness back Honest, in his punch. Check up behind the uppercut. Seconds out. Round five. Interesting clash of styles here. Prince Aaron, the tall, rangy man from Manchester, and Birmingham's aggressive little Max Maxwell. Left hook. Getting through with one or two, Maxwell, and beginning to turn up the heat on Prince Aaron. Will we find out a little bit more about Aaron? Use your head, Max. Well, Maxwell's team reckoned the eight-round dishing would suit him, so he's going for it now. He looked to be blowing earlier, didn't he? But maybe they know something we don't, that he's very, very fit. Yeah, well, if it's a fair bit of notice for the fight, so I'm sure he is in good shape. I just feel that Aaron should be taking the initiative a little bit more. I love the uppercut. Beautiful uppercut. That's what he needed to knock out Tony Randell a few fights ago. A shot like that. As the guy came in, he picked it perfectly. I think he wants to lead off a little bit more. He's trying to counter again. And he's allowing Maxwell to get some momentum into his boxing. It's untidy, but he's, he has the momentum at the moment. And trying his own uppercuts too. Becoming a bit macho in there. And good for these fans at the Kingsway Leisure Centre in witness. Action's becoming tougher, isn't it? Yeah, well, the smoothness is not there any longer for Aaron. He's having to just dig in and grit this out. And full credit to Maxwell, he just keeps stepping right up and trying to pump the punch. He's not a great quality in his work or accuracy. It's a big opportunity, this, for Maxwell. He could upset the uh, favourite. Sure, he's got plans and dreams of his own. Just needs to take a step back, Prince Aaron. Adjust himself, maybe find some more of those uppercuts through the middle. Or get back behind the jab, something to keep Maxwell at bay. Well, but uh, I just think Maxwell will not be denied. I don't know if there's anything uh, Aaron can do about this. Maybe some more movement around the ring, move from six, he's moving straight back from Maxwell, but maybe moving to the side, make him hit fresh air a few times. Bob Shannon just shaking his head in the blue corner, doesn't like what he's seeing. It's the wrong kind of fight for Aaron's camp, that's for sure. Good round this. Excellent round of boxing. Aaron's had one or two successes, but more from Maxwell. That's it, good, good lad, come on. Come on, look at him now, he's just trying to make, he's just trying to make you work hard, isn't it? Yeah. Come, come, feel it. Come, feel it, come. So cool. Come on. That's it, did I do How are you feeling outside there? Just put it out, come on, just put it out. Says he's a bit out of breath there, in the corner, Aaron. Yeah, well, there's a difference between out of breath and tired. Uh, I mean, the, the minutes rest should get his breath back, then we'll find out if he's tired or not. But uh, another big drive from Maxwell, who himself is using up an awful lot of steam, making the impression he's doing. Gone he's absolutely knackered, Max. Come on, absolutely knackered. Big, big breath now, Max. Seconds out. Round Richie six. Woodall winding up his man. Could be a uh, fascinating last three rounds to this light middleweight affair. Just a bit of tape loose on the 
left glove of Prince Aaron that Howard Foster wants sorted out. Yeah, it was good that he spotted it right at the start of the round before the the action had really started. So that's good. So it's not harming, no disadvantage to anybody. Both Aaron and Max Maxwell have been professional since 2006. And they've had uh, hard roads. It's not been easy. But they're giving us a, uh, a good affair here. Tough one. Maxwell really wound up. And just trying to take the fight to Aaron. Close that range. Not allowing to get that jab. Moving all the body shots. It's been a turnaround. Yep, I think Aaron wants to be moving to the side as Maxwell comes forward. He's moving straight back and he's been trapped on the ropes. And he's found himself a little bit of room in the start of this round. Nice uppercut. A good right hand again from Maxwell. That's the punch that he's had success with. That left hand low of Aaron. Steaming forward. Max Maxwell. And good defence too from the Midlander. That's what he needs, he needs the jab, then he needs to move away. That's it. He has the idea now. Punches off and in movement. That's it. That's exactly what he should be doing. He is good on his feet, Aaron. Doesn't want to stand trading with Maxwell. The jab moving again. He's got his tactics right. And this round, can he sustain it? Just trying to steady things down behind the jab. Much better from Prince Aaron. Not the same intensity, maybe, from Maxwell in this round. I mean, he's used up a lot of steam, huge drive the last couple of rounds. But he's walking on to the jab now. Yeah, right hand from Aaron, putting the combinations together. Wilder from Maxwell. Yeah, but he's maybe emptied the tank a little bit, Maxwell. I mean, huge effort in the last couple of rounds. A lovely body shot and the uppercut can put them together with superb skills at times, Prince Aaron. Well, Aaron had to stop the rot. It looks as though he's done it in this round. Some real quality work from him. Maxwell showing signs of the wear and tear that he's just used up too much energy. Much better from Prince Aaron and needed to be. Okay, now listen up. We need the last two rounds, Max. Okay, we're behind now. Three days. That you were behind. You've got to pull out the bag now. Okay. okay. I think he's right, Richie Woodall. Very astute reader of the game. It's a big difference on the statistics. Maxwell's come back a bit with those body shots, a bit less from Aaron recently, but that was the round that he needed to stop the rot. Yeah, well, I mean, Maxwell had turned things around, but uh, you can see he used up an awful lot of steam. It was far easier to catch cleanly in that round. Oh, I love oranges. And I love orange juice. That's one of my five a day, obviously. Oh, but I love strawberries as well. And bananas, of course. Oh, apples. Oh, and I love grapes. And they're all in here. Really? And that's two of my five a day. Well, why didn't someone tell me about this? Hmm? Everyone else already knows, do they? Innocent smoothies. Two of your five a day. Settings out. Eight final round. The intensity of the corners, you'd have thought it was a big title fight here. It's only an eight rounder, but it means a great deal to the teams and the fighters themselves. Max Maxwell again comes out charging, but yep. there goes Prince Aaron with the class, and he's in front on your card. Yep, you can see I have him three points up. 
Yeah, Max will turn things around for a couple of rounds. Well, he threw him there. Howard Foss is just going to have a word. Yeah, he's had a few warnings, Aaron. It's uh, almost over, so he just wants to be a little bit careful here. Uh, referee Foster might have this closer than we have it, so we don't want any points deducted. Well, interestingly, Ian John Lewis, who scored the draw when they first fought, he's ringside tonight. He said that Prince Aaron did too much holding on the inside. That's what he didn't like that night from Aaron. Yeah, but see his tape's coming loose again, so hopefully Foster will just let them go on with it because... Uh, Max Willis is a huge drive, he's been sent out to give it everything in the last round. I think his corner realised he needs it, and he's giving it everything. Drawing Aaron into the brawl. Yep, pressuring him well. That take very loose now on the right glove of Prince Aaron. Still trying his combinations, but he's getting tired now. See an important section of the fight now, Foster doing the right thing, not breaking up the action. Not everything landing cleanly now from Prince Aaron. But a clash of styles and, you know, who will Howard Foster, the referee, prefer? I think over the course of it, Aaron's been delivering the punches better. Yeah, the, the, the quality moves and the quality punches we've seen from Aaron, but for sheer effort and what rate and determination, he certainly can't fault Maxwell. Not at all, he's been gritty, energetic and ambitious. He's wanted this very, very badly, Max Maxwell. His time running out, though. See, there's no real snap in Maxwell's punches, he's just used up so much steam. But he's still the determination to force himself on. Scrappier final round. But it's been a good watch. Crowd have enjoyed it. Max Maxwell has given it absolutely everything possible. But the classy work of Prince Aaron. Has he got that little bit of revenge? He has indeed. Howard Foster this time raising Prince Aaron's arm as he and John Lewis raised both of them in December when they fought to a draw. Aaron makes sure the extra ability and maybe the confidence too now in his boxing. Yeah, but full credit to Aaron for, for accepting this match. He felt it was unfortunate that in the first meeting of getting the draw. They come straight back in. He knew it was going to be tough, and it was tough all the way through. And I think he showed a lot of character as well as the talent that we know he has. Good performance, excellent result. Both of them showed character. Almost a thousand punches thrown. Nice eight rounder and smiles all round. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. After eight rounds of boxing, Mr. Howard Foster has scored this contest for Maxwell, 74 points. For Aaron, 78 points. Your winner from Drosdon, Prince Aaron. I fought Max before. Um, I won the fight. I got, um, I got the decision as a draw, which it shouldn't have been. You know, I won a prize fighter. Tommy made the match again. You know, when he come here and won tonight, you know, I knew, I knew Max was a tough kid. Uh, he's a pressure fight over eight rounds, you know, and I thought, I thought, I'd, picked, I thought I'd picked the shots all right, you know, could have talked up a bit, a bit, a bit more, you know, turned me opponent, but, you know, I got eight rounds out, you know, and then we'll, we'll go back to the gym now and we'll work on that. He put you under a lot of pressure, were you ever uncomfortable in there? No, not really, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm fit as a fiddle, you know, I, I could have gone and made for another two, three rounds, you know, but, um, you know, I'm just weathering the storm, like, uh, I've, I've had sparring like that, you know, I've not, I kept, I kept my composure, you know, and I kept, what, I kept doing what I was doing, so, you know, and there's clear points winner. What has winning prize fighter done for your confidence? You know, it's boosting my confidence, you know, sky high now, you know, um, with a good trainer, Bob, good uh, manager, Tommy, you know, um, I'm just taking it one step at a time and hopefully soon fight for British titles. It is amazing.